This video is sponsored by AppMaker. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Educate WordPress. On this channel, we talk everything about WordPress. And today, we're going to see how we can add hovering cart button to a WordPress website. Let's get started. For that, we're going to need two plugins, Elementor Pro and Elementor of course. The plugins website will be linked in the description. Go to the plugins website and complete your purchase for the Elementor Pro since it is a paid plugin. And also install the zip file for Elementor theme builder from here. Both of them will be linked in the description. Then head over towards your dashboard, click on plugins, add new, click on upload plugin and choose the downloaded zip file one by one. And then click on install now. Now while this installs, let's talk a bit about our sponsor. This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS applications. Get 30% off by being first 200 sign up. Get the link in the description. Now we're back and as you can see both of our plugins have been activated. So now let's start adding the hovering cart button. So if you want to add hovering cart button to each page, we can simply add it to our header and edit it to appear in the bottom right. Otherwise, we will have to add it to every single page in our site. Now let's start editing our header. I'm going to use element of header and photo builder. If you're using any other header and photo builder, you can do that. And if you want to know how to use Elementor header and photo builder, I have made a tutorial which will be linked in the description. So let's click on edit with Elementor. And this is our header. You can't see much because it's transparent header. And it has a margin also. So let's remove some margin for the while. We're going to add a single section. We're going to add the cart button from here. Search for cart and click on menu cart. Now you can change the icon size and color as well. If you want to display how many products there are in the cart, you can choose bubble. I'm going to keep it at plain. And I'm going to remove the subtotal. You can change the alignment from here. Let's head over to advanced. Click on positioning. Click on inline. And choose the position as fixed. Now, as you can see, it has moved over to the top. But we can edit that. Let's say I want to add it here around and let's click on update or oh, now let's change our margin this to minus 90 back. And the margin looks weird and our card button is around here. So let's change that. We're going to click here. We're going to the positioning and change the vertical to about this and manually type it around. Let's try 1200. Click on update and 
Mm, this position looks good. We're going to change the color and fix our header. Don't worry. We're going to add some border width and border radius. We're going to increase our icon size as well and the color. Let's go with this one and then click on update. Now let's remove the margin that was added. Let's go with minus 120. Let's click on update. Yeah, and everything's fixed. And as you can see, This is the card. Now let's open this up in, in a new tab so that the admin panel doesn't appear. And this looks good. The problem is, it's appearing under my search bar. So I'm going to change the cart options. Let's go to navigator to locate our cart. Click on menu cart. Go to content, click on cart. Card type would be mini card and let's click on update. Now if you click on here, the mini card has been activated but we have to change the distance. Now this looks good, as you can see, let's try adding another item, We're adding this to the cart and yeah, looks good. Now that's it for this video, thank you for watching, like if you find this video useful and subscribe, thank you.